Hello, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. Today, let's see. We might have enough to try the strength again, or maybe let's try the hero fund. Let's be done with that. We need some gold. Uh, yep, I want to change it for Mal. And let's see. We can get gold. Uh, uh, the madman, the gold. Cartographer isn't very good. Mm -hmm. Good for a pair. Mystery chest. No, I don't want a mystery chest. I don't like it. Mm, we, oh, we can get gold from her, but we have already one plantum card, and this one's better. Yeah, the winding trail. Why not? We could try with him or with him. This is very nice. No, I don't want this. I think he gives lots of gold. As a payment. Carriage of the departed. That's great. Armor sling, yep. As far as for the equipment, we'll do two plus fives. Extra gold, mm -hmm. yep. Don't need max life, this I need to defeat ten enemies with that. Mm. Give me that, actually. And... Exquisite blade, if we get it, we can get 100 gold. Let's try it. Let's try it. No, I want something else. Maybe no. Is there anything else that can grant me some gold? Mm. That sounds confused. No. Executive? The one who do to random thief and activate. Ooh. That's Will of the Emperor. Okay, I'll I'll put it in just for now. Mercenary grab. No. No. No, no, no. Fire resistant. Wait. Fire resistant. Fire moves 40 less. No, I don't really want it. Depends. Oh, we have already. Maybe stand of ring of food or. No, actually, I want to stick with that. In fact, 50 arrows I throat. Actually, I think that I want this instead of- No, I want more gold. <laughs> really? That's all this challenge is about. It's about having lots of gold. So in case you fail, you can retry. I don't remember the questions and answers already. As who he is exactly, as for more information, as for more information. Three, one, two. Okay, and rest. Already have seven. Let's see the equipment already. Ooh, give me that. We need that. We do. And leave. And I need to change this. Attack the courtly band for daring to threaten you. Because I have no gold whatsoever, so I think they'll leave me alone if I don't have any gold. I don't remember, to be honest. I'll do your thing. I'll handle the middle one, you deal with the rest, okay? The little one, there's no little one. Give me some gold. The man that they give you their gold. Twenty to five. There's no way we're gonna get that. On the battlefield. God damn it. Give me your gold. 
No, god damn it. Uh, one of them doing wants to kill you. Go with bottom. God damn it. Now I'll be wondering. There's nothing they can steal with- Oh, they can get some of my food, but beside that, there's nothing they can steal from me. Gambler's hood, maybe? Hmm. Give me the. Okay, I will use it. Should have gone for the ring. Madman. <laughs> they say madness can be a blessing. Not I, however. I would never be so thoughtless. The journey comes with some confusion regarding logistics and food. What do children even eat? Madman's had cried. In the end, you managed to bring the maid children safely to the madman near, near Forest Ford. Their home is an ominous building with high gates, barred windows, and faint screaming coming from within. It passes as an asylum disquietingly well. Right, we'll just drop these little munchkins up and we'll be on our way to get that cure. Malclaps well, leads your ragtag bunch to the main door before turning you and saying seriously. Please, perform the secret knock. Wrap the door in ten quick bursts. I don't remember. Wrong! Malcap shouts. Then he merely pushes the door open to unlock doors. We are met by two tall men in identical twins, dressed in patterned night gowns. Era of the Veil told us you'd be coming, one of the twins says. I'm Barry and this is Mary. They call us madmen, but it is only a name. They show you a sight and hurry the children indoors. We're good sorts, aren't we, Barry? His twin nods as he brushes the children's hair and hands them nightgowns. Yes, indeed, but sometimes I forget we're merely acting and I do mad things like setting that farm on fire. Keeps the rubble off our trail though, doesn't it? Mary nods and as he brings out a plate of warm spiced breads. As the children warily settle down to eat spiced breads and butter, Mary asks you a favor. We will need your help clearing out this place. Hasn't been an orphanage for a long time, has it? Not fit for children, the monsters and the burning room, Mary. Barry nods while cutting cards. Extinguish the burning room? As we approach the stairs, a man in rags rushes past and burrows into an adjacent room. He peers out at you with mad eyes. That be Frida, Mary says behind you. He kept trying to climb Frost Ford's clock tower so they sent him here. He's harmless. Frida slams the door closed, then opened and closed again. You arrive at the burning room. The room is literally on fire. Everything has been reduced to ash inside. Somehow, magic is keeping the fire contained within. Uh, what do we do? The match mage shrugs. Perhaps that's the answer? He points to a chubby, lizard-like creature the size of a small dog. It watches cautiously from the corner of the room. A fire salamander, a hatchling at that, would have fought them long extinct. The room is literally on fire. Try to placate the plant teacher? I don't know what placate means. 
Oké, okay, no, not oké. Okay. You coo and offer cake to the fat little lizard. Intrigued, it waddles over to the doorframe, licking its lips. You notice the flame recede as it, as it approaches. Okay, now we can look at okay. With the solemn room, they're cold. The flames recede and the room becomes cool enough to enter. The trappy creature clambers up your leg, snuggles into your arms, gibbering softly to itself. The little beast gags and convulses in your arms until, with a tiny squawk, it coughs up an item that drops painfully onto your toe. On the advice of Malachites, those wounds are prone to spontaneous combustion. You release the creature outside. It gives your palm a little warm leg before it pats, butters away to the cliffs nearby. With that dealt with, you turn to the kitchen. Mary boils sheets in a massive steel vat while his brother prepares sweatshirts for the stew. Their tummy is full of warm bread, the children find comfortable spots around the kitchen to nap. Mary leads you down to the cellar door. It's in there. I've had to resort to going down to town to buy our pickled vegetables. They scream like banshees when I ask them what blood they've pickled them in, though. Barry closes the door behind you. You follow the steps deep beneath the fortress until you find yourself in an underground cave. You hear a good true moan. Now oh, it's just a terrible blight. Nothing serious. Oh, but I forgot to change. I don't think it's this place now, it's just you. You poke at the dead thing to see if it holds any treasure, but find nothing of value. Malakleps wraps his shoulders nervously as he gazes into the creature's cold, dead One eyes. One step closer to a cure, perhaps. Perhaps. Hmm. If it is as they say, my interest is piqued. With the problems resolved, the madman insists you stay for supper. Seated on opposite ends of comically long dining table, shout conversation at each other. Malakleps stick quickly and jovially to the shouting. What do they know, Mal? Yes, Malakleb stole some scrolls from the orphanage walls. The bird chokes into his bow. The madman seemed nonchalant about the, tr the transgression. You were just a boy, but it doesn't make it right. We'd we'll lie those scrolls back sometime. As their opinion on the empire? Generally calamity, isn't it, Barry? Mary shouts as he hands out hunks of bread. Barry nods. I wouldn't think they were so bad if only they didn't try it and kill all us magic folk. Not to mention what they did to those poor lizard men. I remember, Bray continues, when my silk trader was a lizard man. Now they're all dead, except for the block hiding in the city. Weren't, Mark Lambs brought back, weren't the lizard men wiped out centuries ago? Barry scratches his quick nose. At least you think he did. He's so very far away. Yes, it has been a while, hasn't it? Compliment this you. You yell across the table that the stew is delicious. What? Mary <laughs> shouts back. She says there's too much carrot in the stew. The madman look at each other confused. No, we can't marry. <laughs> yes, I will marry you, Malcolm's replies. He reaches for his loot. It's real arms, Kirkwood. Thank you for noticing. Finish it. As you finish your stew, Malcolm brings out his loot. After the second song, the madman politely suggests that it's time for you two to leave. The children giggle at the bar's silent indignation. Finally. Yes, give me that, thank you. With the mage children peering out behind them, the madman near forced forth wave goodbye from the front door. As the door closes, your companion collapses on his head and knees, blood oozing from his mouth. He pulls himself royally we are lead to his feet and groans. This cure can't come soon enough, coin slave. No, do not enter the inn. We are screwed. Yes, finally. Okay, we have this. Uh, we will, yeah, sure. That changed nothing. <laughs> That's better.
Oh, it's going horrible. Really? It's so bad. I guess I use all my good luck. The Endless and the Priestess. Okay, what can I buy? Mm, equipment? Berserker's Creed. No, that's too much. Okay, let's talk to this guy. You write in reward if someone's been bored and turns to you and ask, quite seriously, what do you think of the boss? Uh, I find him hard to read. Oh, he trusts me and do less. I mean, to give your blood. Trust me and do more. So I'm sorry I asked you to give blood. I'm a terrible person. I'm, I try to conform him. Okay, this is easy. Don't worry, you're gonna get it. That will set you in good stead I from hope. here. What do you know about your favorite food? Oh, blackberry tart or maybe apple tar. What about your past? Bribe him. Eight gold. Okay, only ten. <laughs> oh, well, only. Yeah. I said only. That's better. I was a farmer before this. Your family? Uh, right here. Twelve. That's not horribly a lot. That's... Oh my god. I think that this encounter has really terrible rules when it comes to dice. Uh, really horrible rules. And this is... This challenges. Thank you. No. What do you think about the... Oh, he doesn't trust me enough. Take that in. Go on, drop with Rowena. Mm, actually, that... We can try that. Of course, it's goblins. I don't think I have any weapon that they can steal. Well, they can steal the crossbow. Because I don't think I have Thief's Folly. No, they didn't take the crossbow. What did they I take? Hope this works. Me through to the goblins. Oh, this is the one blow me up. It worked. Get back here. Really? It's too small to be hit with it. Just need to uh, 
twenty two thing. Maybe we can get it. How much that one? Eighteen. <laughs> I don't feel we're gonna get it. Fight the crafted. Even my gold. Thank you. Now I can see what? What can be bought? Yeah. Reservers Cradle. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe we can buy it lower price? Yeah, it's. Oh. I'll take this one. The world to charge us, so yeah. I wonder how the Emperor feels about his precious so, wrath now, eh? I will sell this one. I'll keep this. And let's see. Mm, I think we are fine. Oh, I'm not wrong. Oh. Well, it's Raiders, so... <clears throat> Search the spoils. Search the spoils. Oh god damn it. No, I think this is the one. Is it the same one? Yes. Oh no. Keep exploring. And drop the formula. Actually, I think this is fine. Will my artifact kill Rowena? I wonder. Okay, it feels the match. No matter what. Oh, we got the piece. And I think Rowena's already dead. Yourself to secrecy. Plus, you have food, roasted apple. 
Okay, what about what did your father go free? About your family? Okay. About your past? Okay. Right. Can I go bit? Ghost night damage. <laughs> Why do you trust me? Ask to borrow gold, he won't. Come and drop the queen down. Oh, no, I won't bet it. We have enough. Ah, visit the gold mountain. Come on, give me. We need lots of gold for bribes. Oh, no, no, no. Leave. And since the distressed woman, of course, because we are very helpful. No, I don't want to roll. Oh, give me some gold. Gold. Okay, that's great. And only 14. Oh, that's horrible. That! <laughs> we nearly done it! Play dice. Let free gold. We'll die. Um, games within games within no. games. Because I need to roll more. That's perfectly fine. No, no, <laughs> do not roll it. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Mm, play dice. We can. Yeah, we can bet seventeen. And we're gonna lose. I'm fairly sure of that. Yes, re-roll, please. Thank you, yeah, that's a lot better. Because we can't we may, well we can roll over eighteen, but we don't want to. Well, I want to have to. No. No 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 no. Uh select No, I don't wanna I don't wanna roll. Okay. This is your last roll. Exactly, and this is one where we have to. Here we go. Please. Oh my goodness. Come on, work with me. Like I said, <laughs> if you want to win, you won't. Leave. Keep exploring, please. This is annoying. <laughs> More than anything, this is annoying. It's annoying. Would you like my autograph? Yes. Um, I'm. I'm recruit. You stole the stars from the sky and put them in his eyes. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite food? Great question. Your family? Who is a family? Your past? Used to be an actor. Goodbye. We need eight more. I'm not sure whether we can get eight. Uh, interesting questions now. Good for them. Beat him. Come on, let's try to bribe him. That's great. Can I continue? No, 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 I don't want to roll this one, I want to roll those two. Great. Drink with Borden to gain info. Oh god, then I should have done that from the start. Yeah, 
they have to. Okay. I wanted to wait until they're synchronized, but Kendra and Sprite. Approach Rowena. Drink with Rowena, she doesn't drink. Bribe her. Great. No, I don't want Reroll. Okay, and we still have enough. I don't want to reroll. Nope. It's better. <laughs> Says it's Borden. Just plain Borden. We need free. Drink, drink with him. I love drinking with Grindan. Nicely timed. <laughs> Thank you. Bribe him. Back to the bones. Wait. I hope you have learned no. to be their master. He says this is the warden as well. Yes! No! <laughs> Do not re-roll it. That's wonderful. Warden murdered his wife, so. Do something else? Review clues. Burden has worked for him for a long time. Borden will spill more truth when drunk. Marina has worked for him for a long time. Wasn't a fertile agent for the Empire Army. Will always say truth for money. Will always say truth for money. Hmm. His wife left him for a traitor. Assassin has a very stagger. Only began working for guild several days ago. Uh, Orna was in the 7th Legion of the Empire and killed the captain. She was in the 3rd one. She was in the 3rd one. Uh, the assassin doesn't have a, he doesn't have a hidden wrist dagger. When I said the assassin is Borden. He used to be a faint actor. Not to trust the color red. But the assassin is Borden. So that Borden murdered his wife. Wait again that? Drunkly said not to trust the cool red, so good trust. We don't think that the assassin is Borden. Said. Oh, it seems. Uh... Ask about the wrist daggers. It's not uncommon for silence to wear wrist daggers. Only Borden doesn't have one, I believe. He says that it's not honorable. Can you imagine that? Honor, honor among Steve. Finish asking questions. Approach Borden. Accuse Borden. Borden's nervous demeanor disappears in an instant. Grinning, he draws his blade. You have made a grievous mistake, mercenary. I have, I have everything. By the way, how are we doing on that? We need seven more. Come on. <laughs> Father Godfrey's faithful servant. Right one, wrong one. I've been itching to fight these songs since we met them. Whoa, that was... Okay, but it doesn't kill. Come on. That was close.
As the violence subsides, you realize that Father Galfrey is standing next to you, eyeing Borden's body glibly. Such a shame. Now, the balance accounts, you took every precaution out of your great debt. Let me show you how to pick a fool with a heavy purse from a crowd and a new, my friend. He takes a ring from his hand and places him, will never be wanting of gold. Well, well. Your skills continue to improve. We'll make a master of you yet. Hmm. The cure and Frostbolt. Nice. Oh, it's nice to see more and more gold. For now, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.